In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve simultaneous linear equations using the substitution method. So the first step we're going to take is to name our equations on the screen. So let's call this equation 1. And then let's call this equation 2. So if you're going to use substitution method, you pick one of the two equations. So let's pick equation 1. So we'll say 2x plus 4y is equal to 8. Next up, we need to make one of the variables the subject of formulas. So the variable here is x and y. So if we choose to make x the subject of formula, we'll have an equation of 2x move y, 4y over to the other side. We have is equal to 8 minus 4y. So next up, we divide both sides by 2. So we have x is equal to 8 minus 4y divided by 2. Okay. So now that we've made x subject the formula, we can name this equation equation 3. Okay. So next stop we solving the substitution. You're solving the substitution method is that we're going to take this value of x and we're going to plug it in into the other equation that we didn't use. Okay, so from here we had two equations, but we made use of equation one. So because of that, we're going to plug the value of x into equation two. Okay, okay, so from equation two, from equation two, we have two x plus y is equal to five. Okay, so next up we have two, we place x with this value here. So that will be eight minus 4y over 2 plus y is equal to 5. Okay. So the next step is to multiply through by 2 to cancel out the denominator here. So to do that, we have 2 times 2 open bracket 8 minus 4y over 2 plus 2 times y is equal to 5 times 2. So we knew that 2 can cancel out 2 here. So let's clean up some space. So this equation becomes 2 open bracket 8 minus 4y plus 2y times is equal to, sorry, so this is equal to 10. Okay. So 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8y plus 2y. So it equals to 10. So from here on out, we have 16. Now this minus 8y plus 2y. So minus 8y plus 2y is minus 6y which is equal to 10. So we are moving 16 over to the other side. So the positive here would become negative here. Okay. So this is negative 6y is equal to 10 minus 16. So this means that minus 6y is equal to minus 6. Okay. So let's clean up some more space. So this implies that minus 6y is equal to minus 6. So you can divide both sides by minus 6. So minus 6, and then by minus 6. So we have y is equal to 1. Okay. So next up, to find our value of x for this equation. Let's clean up some space first. So to find our value of x, we can pick any of the above equation and substitute the value of y to get that, to get the value of x, okay? So recall that we already had an equation of x is equal to 8 minus 4y over 2. So you can just plug the value of y directly from here, okay? So we would say x is equal to 8 minus 4, open bracket 1, divided by 2. So x is equal to 8 minus 4 equals to 4 divided by 2. 
So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this means that x, y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Okay? So most times when you finish solving this kind of problems, you want to check your answer. Okay? So in this case, we have 2. If we include p2 here, it will be 2 times 2, which will be 4, plus y is equal to 1. So this 4 open brackets 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. So we have 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8. If you do the same thing here, you get 5. So that's also verify whether your answers are correct for a simultaneous linear equation. So thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.